Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Hood with Hood Company Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. I hope you have a wonderful day. If we can help you with your real estate needs, check us out online at hoodcompanyhome.com. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Well, happy Halloween to you, and thank you for stopping by the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. I'm Ben Luna here in the Weather Center, wishing you a terrific day as you check out this forecast update. Have a lot to discuss over the next few minutes, including the forecast for trick-or-treaters, how yucky it's going to probably wind up being, plus the long-term outlook here as we move into a very busy weekend and next week as well. You'll learn all those details and more right here on this Thursday edition of Your Weather Today brought to you this morning by Hood Company Real Estate in Lawrenceburg. With that said, let's hop right on into it. Here's a look at satellite and radar over the past 24 hours. Notice the approaching cold front back out over the plains. Well, that's going to be in our backyard as we roll into this evening. And unfortunately, I really think this guy is going to make for a yucky time for trick-or-treaters and other outdoor plans that you may have for this evening. We're starting the day off more cloud coverage and still mild temperatures across the area. But notice as soon as four o'clock rolls around, we'll be seeing that storm activity develop and push right on into our area. Now, we're not looking for any severe weather, but definitely we will be seeing some lightning uh, in the mix as well. These will be thunderstorms, so keep that in mind as you make your plans for this evening. Uh, I really, unfortunately, think it's probably going to be a stormy and kind of a messy night for trick-or-treaters across the area. We don't really finish with rainfall across much of our area until near midnight tonight, and then that activity finally slides on out of the area, and we'll spend a good chunk of the day tomorrow clearing out. But still, there might be a little bit of moisture left over here early Friday morning. The uh, longer range forecast models as we look downrange through the weekend will keep cloud coverage in place, but notice still plenty of moisture back out to the west. That's going to try to start to inch our way again as we head into next week, providing us with yet another chance for seeing some much needed rainfall across the area. Those clouds across the uh, region today will help to keep temperatures a little cooler than what we've seen recently with many of you bumping plum well up into the uh, lowish to mid 80s across the Tennessee Valley region. This afternoon will be in the mid 70s. And again, the chance for storms firing up, say, between 3 and 5 o'clock this evening in uh, pretty much a good portion of our viewing area. Now, at the top, I said we've had a very busy weekend coming up. We've also got a busy week next week. So here's going to be the breakdown for you. Showers and thunderstorms will become possible into this afternoon and evening. That's going to continue for the most part into early Friday morning. Then we'll clear out some into the evening hours. Then here for Saturday and Sunday, I think we're looking okay. But yep, it's that time of year. We're going to fall back, gain an hour as we move through the weekend, Saturday into Sunday, and then next week, of course, the big day will be Election Day. Here's the breakdown on that forecast as we start to look ahead into about this time next week. We'll see a few more showers start to inch back our way here by around Wednesday. Our temperature is still a little bit of a roller coaster, mid-70s, low 70s, and then the upper 70s here with overnight lows staying fairly consistent in the upper 50s to low 60s. That is a check on your forecast from the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. Kelly is in at noon today and Fred Gossage live at 5 here on Tennessee Valley Weather.